Hi, I'm Judy Kay. I'm currently playing Madame Morrible in the Broadway company of Wicked, and I'm here to play Roll Call. Well, that's a reach. Hmm, I don't know that I was ever sexy. Let's take a look. This was the height of sexuality for me on stage. Kind of a tough girl, tough sexuality. I was in the first national company of Greece, touring uh, with people like Jerry Zachs, who was my leading man. Johnny Travolta, who was 17 years old at the time, was playing Duty. We had a lot of fun. We kind of tore up the nation, 1973. I don't know that I have that much uh, pride in myself that I feel like I ne- Well, no, I do. I, I love what I do, so let me see. Mrs. Lovett, this is a role, this is a show so near and dear to my heart, a great masterwork. Every time I do it, I fall deeply in love with it again and with Love It Again. Right now, I'd rock out the room and go out and do it if, if someone would give me the chance. I like Mrs. Madrigal's wigs. I got to play this character in uh, San Francisco at uh, American Conservatory Theater. And I'm still hoping one day to get to play her again for a Broadway audience. I just think it's one of the most wonderful pieces. I love the source material. I love the characters. I love her character so much. And um, she had really gorgeous hair. Hal Prince himself told me he never would have cast me in this. But I gave such a good audition, he had to cast me. I'm not sure how I ever became Lily Garland, but somehow I found her. I think when I put the peignoir on, and when I put the costume on, and that platinum blonde wig, and with the help of Kevin Klein and uh, fawning on me, oh my God, I somehow found Lily Garland. And then when I found her, I was never going to let her go. FFJ, Flofo as I love to call her. I did get to play her in Los Angeles, San Francisco, Tucson, Phoenix, but I really want to play her in London. Help me, please help me. This play, Souvenir, has never been done in London and it must be. This is another one. If I got the call tomorrow, I have all the costumes. Where are you, girlfriend? Carlotta Giudicelli. They only needed me to hit the really high note to know that I could do it. She was a, um, I guess a compilation of all the divas that I'd ever been around and I had done a little bit of opera and so I had, was able to sort of observe and dream a little bit and that's, that's how I found Carlotta Giudicelli. Getting to create a role with Mr. Prince again was extraordinary. Emotionally, Grandma Kernitz, that angry, angry old lady psyche, I had to leave it in the wings. I could not take it back to my dressing room. Now, Rosie from Mamma Mia kicked my ass physically uh, in a good way. I got very, very fit. Of course, now I'm reaping some of the, um, I don't know, benefits, but some of the negative too from having played people like Rosie and Grandma Kernitz because I've had now knee surgeries and shoulder surgeries. What we do is not that easy, folks. Just saying. Oh, watch. I'm really enjoying discovering some things about this character and looking fabulous doing it. I go crazy over my costumes and I also just love looking at everybody else backstage in their costumes. I don't think the audience even can imagine how much detail is in these costumes. If there is ever a rabble rouser, I have to be careful because I, I get very involved. I get very passionate about things. Um, so it's babe. It is uh, remarkable to stand in front of a wall with most, well, mo they did very well here. Most of the roles I have played, I have been doing this this thing that I love professionally since I was 18 years old. And I got my Actors' Equity card, of which I am very proud, in 1967. So you do the math. I'm very, very moved by this experience. Um, 
and I am enjoying being Madame Morrible in Wicked and joining all of the fantastic women who have played this role. And uh, y'all come down and see us. Come and see me play Madame Morrible in Wicked. Ha, ha, ha.